At Moral Enterprise is a large organization primarily focused on online event ticketing and travel reservations. They have more than 13 million customers globally and more than 500 applications running in their environment to support their customers. One of the applications is TixChange, which is a leader in online ticket brokerage for sporting events, concerts, and theater. Bulk of revenues is earned online from TixChange e-commerce application and it is running on Node.js. Pete, a level one analyst, is notified that there has been issues with the TixChange website. Customers have complained about it taking a long time to log in, peruse the site, select items, and process orders. Head Moral Enterprise uses CA APM to monitor performance of their applications. APM for Node.js allows enterprises running Node.js applications to identify and resolve performance issues. APM for Node.js integrates performance metrics into CA APM for intelligent analytics, alerting, and visibility. Let CLP uses CA APM to diagnose the issue that has occurred in the Node.js application. Pete is in the APM Team Center dashboard and finds everything is good in live mode. He transitions into the historic mode and clicks the time range drop down arrow. Now, Pete sets the time to the period when he received the customer's complaint. In this situation, it is September 1st, 2016 at 3 p.m. In the historic mode, Pete observes the problem occurred on the Node TixChange 2 application starting a few minutes before 3 p.m. To isolate the problem, he sets a filter to view the TixChange 2 application only. Looking at the component view, Pete drills further to determine the problem of TixChange 2 application. Pete looks at the blame point metrics and observes there are errors followed by the stalls. He also observes that the average response time responses per interval, and concurrent invocations drops to zero, which indicates there is a problem with the application. Pete notifies Ryan, a level 2 analyst, about the problem that occurred in the TixChange application on September 1, 2016 at 3 p.m. and requests him to look further into this issue. Ryan, a level 2 analyst, opens APM Team Center in the historical mode and checks for the time period that Pete informed him of. He notices that the TixChange 2 application has problems. Ryan looks at the component view to verify the data shown under the blame point metrics. Then he clicks on the application name to launch the APM Team Center isolation view for the TixChange 2 application. Ryan now expands the group nodes to identify the components showing problems. Ryan observes errors with this component. He selects the application node group and clicks on the blame point metrics link. The ABM web view is displayed and it shows the investigator tab in the custom metric host tree. Ryan observes the metrics in more detail. He identifies the responses and concurrent invocations drop off to zero, errors and stalls. He also checks the agent and the host name. Ryan collapses the custom metric host tree to make room and clicks on the agent to expand node to exchange to front end apps. Here he sees the overview for the node to exchange to app, including the component URLs. He notes the default component has 5 errors and 13 stalls. In addition, the products has 2 stalls and items has 7 stalls. Ryan clicks on the default component to investigate this component since it has the errors. Ryan observes called backends have errors. He now clicks on the errors tab for further information. Ryan sees a bunch of stall transactions and a front end error. Ryan also investigates the stack view of the stalled application. Now Ryan checks the node error information to understand its root cause. Ryan observes the node error indicates an internal server error. The Node.js error occurred in the add URL. Ryan also knows that they are adding item 1 with a quantity of 5. There is no indication of an error in the blackens, fragments, or express. He navigates to view the Node.js runtime details. By looking at the Node.js runtime, Ryan can determine the reason behind the runtime error. He notes there is no change in the CPU usage as there is no indication of using excessive CPU time. He also does not see any change in the heat, which would indicate a V8 failure. Ryan observes that at times the event loop is going to zero. He also notes that the metrics are not showing where the event loop went to zero. The blame point metrics showed indications of the event loop stalling. This indicates there is a long running event in the loop. Since no JS asynchronies, Long-running events will dramatically slow down the app, causing the problem reported by Pete. He now looks at the fragments. In the fragments overview, Ryan can see the functions and their metrics. 
Again, there are only indication of stalls. Looking at the backend overview, Ryan can see all of the backend components. There are Node.js, Tomcat Java, and external web services shown. He notices there are excessive stalls in the database calls to TickChange DB on port 3306, which is a MySQL database server. He clicks on the link to view this backend. Again, the stalls are during the time event loop. By looking at the SQL overview, Ryan can see which SQL queries are stalling. Ryan now has enough information to pass along to the developer so they can correct the problem with the TickChange application. I am sure now you can see how issues in the Node.js applications can be diagnosed using CAAPM. Thank you for watching this video. For more information, visit ca.com/education.